Welcome to episode four of Onsite Notes. I'm Willem Molesworth, the director of Disart in Hong Kong. Onsite Notes! Today, we'll be talking about Mark Chung's exhibition, Weezing. It's the result of the fourth Disart artist residency, which you can learn more about in our first episode. Weezing is a reflection on what it's been like to live in Hong Kong over the past 13 months, as it experienced first intense protests and then a pandemic. The exhibition draws parallels between the gallery space, bodily ailments, and the city. Chung has carefully disrupted our gallery through various interventions that serve as something like a metaphor, unpacking ideas about how Hong Kong itself uh, has changed and been disrupted over the past year. Chung understands this city to be one of flows or currents, a place that is constantly in flux. He believes we only become aware of this, however, when the flow is stopped. Those of us living in Hong Kong can acutely understand this, as over the past year, various facets of our lives have been upended and the underbelly of what makes the city work exposed. He first explores this through a light installation called Tosis. The light emanating from this work only allows us to see about 70% of the colors which we're capable of perceiving. Therefore, everything in the space is visually muted and diminished, including a photo he took of Hong Kong last year that's been printed on ceramic, much like the portraits you find on gravestones here. By restricting our ability to see color, Mark disrupts our very ability to perceive, perhaps a metaphor for the growing inability here in Hong Kong to access, see, or hear certain information. What? Personally, I think this work also mimics how the trauma of life here has muted our emotional perception. An HKU study recently reported that 70% of 11,000 people recently surveyed here were moderately to severely depressed with many also suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. As you move further, you enter Chung's immersive installation, Growl, where he has divided the space into two rooms with opposing temperatures. In one room, flexible aluminum air ducts reach down from our ceiling-mounted air conditioning units, um, and looking like snaking intestines, and these, these tubes probe their way into a smaller room, redirecting all of the cold air and leaving the large room warm oh. and humid while making this small room extremely cold. Through this elaborate rerouting of air, Chung again places viewers in a state of sensory imbalance, a demonstration symbolic of larger issues. Chung's artwork challenges problematic systems and the elaborate but normalized dysfunction on which this city operates. Next is Chung's multimedia installation, Befuddled, which I currently sit in front of. It comprises a video of one of Hong Kong's most widely known attractions, a symphony of lights. He's projected it through a cracked glass wall. The artwork looks at this iconic light and laser tourist attraction as a bizarre and unnecessary celebration that still occurs, despite the fact that there are literally no tourists allowed in Hong Kong at the moment. Recorded using a, a drone slowly rising across the facade of the 108 story tall ICC building and looped infinitely, the video shows the light through the reflection on the building surface. The fractured glass at the center of the installation acts as a screen, a mirror, and a filter, simultaneously distorting, reflecting, and splintering the video, revealing alternative interpretations and casting light onto viewers' bodies and their shadows onto walls almost everywhere they move. Additionally, as viewers move from one side of the glass to the other to be bathed in light and then swiftly exiled, they realize that from the outside, the small space looks like a street-level shop whose windows may have just been broken in something like a protest. In this exhibition, Chung crafts layer after layer of interwoven meaning. There are six other artworks in the show, but I've already run out of time for today. The exhibition closes soon, and you can read more about it and see more images on our website. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. On site notes!